Ooh, there's a little kickback. Dots neat after dark. Like, how do you guys do this product study? It is creeping. Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It is your girl, the Top Black Chick, and we are back with another Bumble Clack video. Today, guys, I'm super excited about this one. I'm gonna be doing like a full face using the products I got from Ulta Beauty. Um, this is what it looks like. I got quite a lot. So I'm not just using products from Ulta Beauty. I'm using like new products I got recently, including some Nigerian brands as well. But yeah, in here I got the ColourPop um, eyeshadow. I have the Juvia's Place, the Moss by Juvia's eyeshadow as well. So in here I also have the, the Bronze by Juvia's. This is it. I got this one in the shade Dark. Now this is a crow free product. And I'm really, really excited about this particular product. I have been seeing it everywhere. I also got the Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Hyaluronic Tinted Moisturizer. I won't be using that today. Um, yeah, I got the Lost for Dusk Color Pop Eyeshadow. I think I'm going to be infusing both the Juvia's Place Moves and this palette. I don't know yet, but as it goes though. And of course, um, I got their uh, Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Creamy Concealer in the shade uh, Medium Dark. This is what it looks like. Also, I got their lipsticks. This is in the shade Trust Me. And I got this Maybelline foundation that is too dark for me. I'm definitely going to be putting this out for sale. If you are this shade, please come and buy it. Also, I have the Cheek Dew Serum Blush from Colourpop as well. Now, these are the products I didn't show you guys when I unboxed my products. So, we're going to go right into all of this. Um, but first, hit the subscribe button if you haven't. Watch the ads if it pops up. Okay, like this video if you enjoy contents like this. Let's get into it, guys. I thought to zoom into your conscience a bit if you don't mind me um so i got my brows done already and i need to put my mirror here so we're in sync so yeah i got my brows done already and i'm gonna be setting i don't have like an eye base eyeshadow base now that we got our eye base on let's check out this palette so this is a lost for dusk eyeshadow palette it's a pressed powder palette and yeah let's see these so this is it it still has the same vibe going on on the package as well i love it though Ooh, i got a broken palette here this is really sad <laughs> guys i don't know if you guys can see it this one here it's broken I don't know how this happened though. Um, talking about packaging, right? So opening this, it doesn't got like the bubble wrap in it that kind of protects your product and all of that. Now opening the Juvia's Place, it got like the bubble wrap that protects your product from, you know, breaking and all of that. I think they should do something about this because seeing that didn't really make me happy, okay? So I'm literally gonna be using just the ColourPop to do my eyes today can't even leave to these shades but let me swatch them for you so you see so these are this is dust dots neat after dark um, served chilled twilight so this is shaking this is quiet storm this is mood lighting this is sunset chaser they kind of look pretty though i can't wait to you know put this on my eyes and see how well it works okay so we're gonna start with dust neat I don't know what to do though. Ooh, there's a little kickback. Okay, now let's take this. Oh my God, the kickback, the amount of kickback in this thing last one. This is a very soft brown shade. I like it. It's not bad. The kickback is <laughs> scaring me as well. Now talking about blendability, it's really, really blending well. I like how it's easy to blend, okay? So I would go into Hot Glam. Hot Glam, it's like a nude shade. So it is like to like brighten your brow bone area. I think I'm gonna go for like a simple look today. It's been a while we did a simple look. It is really simple. 
My, this is like my first time using a ColourPop product. I have never used any product from ColourPop. Like, <clears throat> getting their product here is always um, expensive to get. Uh, so, if you're lucky, you got someone coming from the US, they can literally just go to their stores to these makeup stores to help you get so i'm i'm impressed with this so far okay we're gonna work with the shimmers right now so i want to go into shaking the one that is broken <laughs> the broken shadow go oh, bad bad well using a brush it's the payoff is a bit minimal i'm gonna go with my hand and just yeah, using your hand is better. The payoff is better when you use your hand. Okay. I'm going back to that's neat. To like so this is it. It's not bad actually. So I have gone to do my liner. Of course, prep my face. Um I applied moisturizer. Now next up is my mix metics. Mismetics Aqua Grip Matte Finish Water Jelly Primer. Now this kind of reminds me of the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. This is what it looks like, literally. And popping it open, this is what it looks like. Okay, I'm all about the packaging. I'm here for the packaging. So I think you kind of twist it. Oh, you twist it this way and you lock it. Makes sense actually, because there are like a lot of products that you get to use these days and at the end of the day before you know it's wasted already so i'm gonna take this much so i took like two palms and this is the 15 ml um product it's a 15 ml product i think the mistake i made was getting the bigger pack of this i would have gotten the smaller pack and get the big pack of this one lillian never thinks so you see that see the consistency it's sticky we're gonna apply this i have never used the milk um hydro grip primer before wow i have never used that before and i don't know if i want to compare now which but then i've seen oh, it smells like skincare <laughs> i've seen people use it and so i can't say much because of the fact that i have not used the milk hydro grip primer before so yeah but this is gripping it is gripping wow <laughs> i like how it feels well that's about it for the hydro grip i'm gonna go off camera now to do my foundation and foundation and we'll be right back so it's time for us to try this pretty fresh color pop pretty fresh hyaluronic creamy concealer it's in the shade medium dark medium dark 120w that's what it looks like so this is what the dome applicator is like just about the right size okay so i'm gonna take this down my scented door so i'm gonna take this here as well i think it's scented like really scented so i'm taking this much <laughs> we're gonna use this to kind of clean up this part of to give you that lifted effect I can feel like a burning sensation on my skin. I don't know if it's the concealer. It's definitely the concealer because I just applied it now. So I felt that way when I use my Juvia's Place concealer. Anytime I use it, I always feel that way. So I'm taking my time to do this part. So I just want these ones to like sit in well. It's a creamy concealer, so you got like enough, enough time. So this is oil free, this is gluten free, this is paraben free, it's ideal for all skin type. So it's actually blending into the foundation really well, which is good. I like it. So I don't feel that tingly sensation anymore. It has stopped. <laughs> so this is it. Um, I like it, it's creamy, very very creamy. And yeah, it doesn't dry down, that's why it says it's a hydrating prime. Um, creamy concealer so of course the coverage as well let's talk about the coverage it's got like it's got like a full coverage going on all right let me blend this i'm done blending that out 
so I got this um, watch me blush from TM essential TM essentials and these are blush um, products so I use this one literally for bronzer and I use this for blush um, so I'm gonna like do this simultaneously and I just apply it around these areas guys this product is really really creamy like very very and I use my beauty blender to blend them out but it's really easy because it's really easy to use beauty blenders to blend these babies out and it is really really sheer so if I want to go this way like I don't have to put extra blush I can literally do that but you guys know me I like to be extra so I literally add the other blush so I applied this much of the orange one now the first one I used that's in the shade Scarlet and this one is in the shade Wheat okay um, yeah and this product is really really creamy like and it's very very easy to blend I use another kind of like products you get that before you are done blending it's really dry this is not it I'm so in love with this product TM Essentials have you guys tried their product before? it's a Nigerian brand and this is really affordable I think I got it for $3,500 that's like $10 no with the conversion these days I think it should be more than we're gonna test this with the um, Hega and Esther setting powder I got this recently and this is in the shade Tinge I think I should apply more of this concealer because it's kind of like disappeared I got like products going around everywhere it's not full coverage full coverage like that it kind of like shears out that is what I have observed so we're gonna go into the setting powder now just gonna like dab this into the beauty blender and just this is my favorite favorite beauty powder favorite setting powder so no matter the amount of powder you put on your face it doesn't got anything to do with the blush the blush is still gonna be there so you don't have to be worried about that now that we're done with that it's time for us to go into our um the bronze by juvia's so i'm gonna use this three techniques brush so this is it this is what it looks like and this is the shades in there comes with a mirror as well pretty much excited about this so i think i should go with this one I'm excited. Oh my god. See the difference? You see the difference between this one and this one? Now let's do that on the other one. Like how do you guys do this product that it, it looks this good and it feels this good? How? I don't want to stop. Like I didn't even put the other one. I didn't use this one. I didn't use this this is what I used this one this one yo the pigmentation of this thing is just out of this world like you can never go wrong with blushes though this is not a blush it's a bronzer so it kind of like warms up your face but then it looks like it's a blush okay wow wow I'm still shocked now for my highlights i'm gonna be using sun chaser sunset chaser and it's still off the color pop palette i'm using that as highlight oh this is giving it's giving right oh you gotta be careful it's too it's too blinding i'm literally impressed with these product so I'm going to be using this Mismetics Lashes on my lash right now. So I'm going to go into my Mismetics Setting Spray. This is what it looks like. This is the Silhouette Setting Spray. Now it has the velvet finish and the matte finish. This is the velvet finish and this is the matte finish. So I'm going to start off with the... Uh, matte finish let's see how that is this is what it looks like that's it so i literally use just the matte finish spray and this is what we're looking like now we're going to go straight into um the color pop lippy sticks this is in the shade trust me and 
This is how it looks. That's it. That's the shade right there. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna put this on my list right now. Oh my god. This is pretty, guys. Is it the shadow that changed this color of this camera away? Guys. So this is this is it. This is the lipstick. Oh okay. But it dries down matte and it feels really really light. Okay. It's a creamy um, lipstick. It kind of feels powdery when you're applying on your lips. But it's creamy and matte. Guys, I'm blown away by all of this. I'll be right back. Okay, so we can talk more what I think about this product. This is the final look, guys. This is what we're looking like so far. I am super, super impressed with these products. Trust me. Like, I fell in love with this product again. Yo, all these products are actually amazing. What shook me the most was this palette right here, which is the bronzing palette by Juvia's Place. Yo, I can't even, I can't even start. I cannot start. Now, another product I enjoyed using is the Watch Me Blush by TM Essentials. This products are really, really nice. I love them. Of course, the Aqua Grip by Miss Metics is amazing as well. I loved it. I like it so very much. These concealer, I would say it's not really my style. It's hydrating, right? But then you have to like, you know, keep applying until you're satisfied with what you got on your face. That's literally that about the concealer, but it's really anti hydrating. Um, if you love hydrating concealers, you'd like it. But then hydrating concealer is actually good for your under eye, just to keep it moisturized a bit. I don't know if you get me though. But yeah, that's it. Another product I enjoyed using is the Lippy Sticks by Colourpop in the shade Watch. Trust me, I loved it. Um, this palette is amazing as well. Okay, I got like few fallouts from the shimmer shade when I was applying this this shimmer shade right here. Um, that's pretty much about it. But then, while taking the products off the palette, the kickback is just something else. That's something you should be aware of. Um, that's that. Yeah, so these I applied on my face, which actually gave me this finish. So yeah. If you ask me, does it does it dry down matte? Yes, it does dry down matte. This is how my face is looking after applying this on my face. I didn't really use the velvet one because I didn't want anything that is going to like, you know, keep me glowing and all of that. That being said, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, let me know what you think about it in the comment section. Like the video if you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already. And yeah, I'll see you guys on my next one.